the ball away and it falls incomplete. So one first down on that drive and that's it. Forced to take the deep shot on third down and couldn't hit it. Now they have to punt this one away. It'll be a 44-yard punt, six on the return, and it'll be Dolphin football. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 nothing lead. Of course they would. And look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 nothing lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. Now it's second and nine. From the gun, it's Tua. It's Williams on the catch. His second catch, and this one not nearly as electrifying as his first, and it'll bring up third down now. Charles, Thursday night game, I think a lot of teams probably say shrink the playbook somewhat. Is that correct? I think you're right about that because you just don't have the amount of time that you have in a normal week to put in a full playbook. So as you said, you shrink the playbook, pick out the plays that work best for you. You know what else you're looking for? It's a, who are the freshest guys coming off the last game to play on a Thursday night? The guys have a little extra pep in their step. You go to them early and often. Two are fighting Williams for a Dolphin first down and the third and four is always a tough call maybe a little too long to run for it but not too long to hit him on the quick slant and that was well executed found the window and zipped it right in there to the outside that's complete to Williams and down he goes at the 49 a three-yard pickup the goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Oh, he was looking for Parker, but it's intercepted. Picked off at the 36. And he's able to bring it up five yards shy of midfield to the 45-yard line. Lions take over first and 10 at their own 45-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Eight yards to go on second down. Watch tight, tight is right. Watch tight, tight is right. Three down, three down. From the gun, Minshew to throw. And he completes it to Westbrook. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. It's a first down on a gain of 10. First down. One of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play. Never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. The rookie, Brandon Jones, picks it off. And he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. There's so much talk in the 2020 NFL Draft about what they call positionless players, guys who can play all over. Brandon Jones kind of fits that role as a safety because he's not a pure strong safety, not a pure free safety. Has experience at both spots while at the University of Texas some people see him as a little bit undersized, but he has above average speed and terrific instincts for the football on the back end. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. First down, Miami. 
Here's Tonga Bailoa on first and 10. Forced out to his left. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. The last drive, remember, similar situation. He forced a ball into coverage through the pick. He learned better there. Yeah, similar to a golfer that's confronted with a shot that you just can't make. Sometimes you have to take your medicine, as they say, right? Just pull it down, take off, and go. Don't make something worse than what it was. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 right at the 40. Credit the tackle there to Uchenna Nuosu. He's brought down at the... After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. At the end of the first quarter with the score, Dolphins seven, Jaguars nothing. This a second and seven from the 37. Now to Geis, and he is close to a first down as he's tackled at the Jaguars' 29. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Brandon, I think you and I were both raised the same way in the game of football. You run to set up the pass, but I think we've discovered in this NFL, a lot of teams pass to set up the run, and that's what they've done throughout this game. They've aired it out, thrown it around the yard, now they've come back to the running game, and they find a way to be successful with it. Give him 12 yards there, and the Dolphins have a first down. Run there by Matt Breida, and he spent the early part of his career in San Francisco, sharing the backfield and sharing the ball. What you really want with him, open space, and make sure he's touching it, because he can take it from zero to the end zone in a very short amount of time. It was Taven Bryan who got him down defensively. It's now second and six. Geis with a carry on second down. And this play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back to the 15. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play. So now third down coming up. And it's third down. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. Two are going to throw. That'll be complete to Breida. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Matt Breida, his second touchdown on the season. And the Dolphins are able to grow their lead. The PAT up and good, but hold on a second. There is a flag. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. And they'll watch this one fall in the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. Minshew and the Jags now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. The drive will start with a carry by Devontae Freeman. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. And 11 at the 24-yard line. Second and 11 now. Minshew sets to throw. Looking long for Westbrook. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. That was not a real confident throw right there, and he's just two of seven to start the game. Now he's going to have to find a groove with a big third down coming up. Let's see if his confidence can increase. And almost picked off. I guess the good news for them now, it's fourth down. The passing game not in sync. Early. And now it's fourth down. Now let's see how yeah, the offense still out there. They elect to go on fourth and 11. They'll try and throw for it here. And it is. 
is incomplete. A surprising move to go for it. Predictably, at least somewhat predictably, it doesn't pay off. And the Dolphins get the football in great field position. down this is guys they'll get him to the ground at the 20 following a pickup of four Brandon all things considered they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them the ball resting on the 20 here's second and six a toss right to guys down inside the 15, shy of the 10. It's a first down on a gain of 10. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Now a first and 10 at the 11. On the handoff, it's Geis. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Jakeem Grant, his second touchdown on the season. And the Dolphins are able to extend that advantage. The kick is good. Boy, so if you are scoring at home, Charles, and God bless you if you are, but that's now three drives and three touchdowns. So in a baseball game, wouldn't that wreak havoc on your scorecard? Yes. I mean, with all the action that's happening now, how they got here, whatever cliche you want to bring into it, they're locked into a groove, they're clicking on all cylinders. Bottom line, they're piling up the points. At their own 35-yard line. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. Second and 10. Now a handoff. It's Freeman. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. 